found my gloves. Found my gloves. <laughs> Today, on My Medieval Corner, we have a quick rattan sword build for you. This weapon is for SCA armored combat. SCA fighters know all too well that it is imperative to have a stout weapon. You know it's time to make a new sword when the rattan starts to get soft and your shots have lost impact. It will resemble a rubber noodle when you hit your target. I'm going to be specific with this build. We will construct a cross guard and pommel. We will not be making a thrusting tip, but we will be making a courtesy tip. I'll explain when we get to that part. For this project, you will need one stick of rattan, approximately one and a half inches thick, 32 to 36 inches long, tape measure, pens and markers, two to three rolls of hockey tape, one roll of a different color, knife and planing tool, handsaw, sandpaper of various grains, belt leather, super glue, weights for the pommel and balance, light leather, and blue foam. I start out by getting a feel of the weapon and feeling the weight and which end of the stick feels like it wants to be the handle. From there, I start to measure out my planing area. This stick was particularly thick, near an inch and three quarters. So I have a lot to work with. The SCA weapon standards for a sword is one and a quarter inch. You wanna stay within these parameters. I take a measurement at the ends of the stick to that inch and a quarter standard, and then I follow the straight line of the grain of the rattan, checking the measurements periodically. I drew a rounded off tip so there would be room for a thrusting tip if desired. Once you have your lines, it's time to plane it down. You may have to get creative with shaving. It's all right to use a knife, but if you want a consistent flat plane, use a planing tool. I started with the planing tool and it gave me a good straight line to start with. Then I used a knife to really remove material and speed up the process. I alternated between the knife and planer until I was satisfied with the result. The handle is tricky. I use my gauntlet to measure the area. Use a handsaw to cut around your handle because you will be removing more material from the handle and the nature of the rattan will confine your shaving to the sawed area. Use the knife to whittle the grip. You don't want to remove too much, but you also don't want the handle to be too bulky. Keep grabbing the handle, swing it around and get a feel of how you want your handle to be. And remember, you'll be adding grip tape to the handle. Once you're happy with how your sword is taking its form, give it a good sanding and smooth out those edges. Adding the hilt and pommel. I had to get really creative with the hilt. I had one idea, but it didn't work, so I had to make a new idea on the fly. This was going to be a leather casing with metal filling to help the balance, but I didn't have the right materials to make it happen, so I took the belt leather and trimmed up the filler. Super glued the leather together and then to the stick. I was surprised at how much I liked the, the form of the hilt. The pommel was made out of some super thick, heavy washers that I had left over from my day job. Since they were the perfect size, it worked out great. I also glued them together and then to the stick. Tape it up. You can use things like a metal pipe cap, stack of washers, etc. But if you're willing to spend some money, you can purchase a hilt and pommel designed for this specific style of weapon. Let's add a courtesy tip. 
The difference between a courtesy tip and a thrusting tip is the amount of padding you add. And if you have a thrusting tip, you mark it off with the other color tape. I call it a courtesy tip, so if there's accidental contact with the tip, it's not just raw rattan. And if I make a few tippy shots, the end won't fray and start to compromise the integrity of the stick. Since I am training for a more steel fighting style, I have to remove thrusting from my current shot arsenal. Just barely add a piece of blue foam. No need to glue, a single piece of tape will do. I use the light leather to make a sleeve that goes even with the foam. Add another light leather piece to encase the padded tip. Tape it up. You don't want a wrench on the tape, that will deform the padding. Speaking of taping, reinforce the cross guard by crisscross. When it comes to taping the stick, start in the middle because you'll have a section of this weapon called the sweet spot where most of your shots will land. So you'll want this area to be doubled up. Wrap the tape to the tip of the sword and then back down. Go over the cross guard again and down the handle. Wrap everything up. Take the contrasting color and line out your striking edges. You can also add it to the handle if you like, or leave it. There you go. Now you have a rattan sword ready for SCA combat. To celebrate, let's do a horn chug. Today, my horn is filled with Heineken. May your new weapon bring you glory. Thanks for watching, and if you followed this guide to build your own, please let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon for episode 4.